should strap a GoPro to the ball. The ball's experience. <laughs> Omar, what you doing? There's nothing back there. Nothing back there, son. What are you doing? There's nothing back here for you. Nothing, dude. Nothing. I didn't get anything. Oh. Oh. Omar, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. All right. Now bring it here. Be thorough. Give me the fucking frisbee. Oh. Don't let me win. Ow. Yeah, man. Whoa. All right, this weekend, King Kong has still not seen any pain. I tattooed this weekend, did an alien koi fish abduction. I had a massive face ache yesterday, so I didn't do much of anything. Alex is doing blueberry thing. And we're waiting on Dirty Urn. Who's supposed to be here 10 minutes ago? I'm tired of U-turns. It's unreal the amount of times, like near my house, near Warm Springs, near the airport, there's like a three-way merge and you can go down the middle, but the middle's part of the right and if you don't, like, there's all this lane switch and I always miss it, dude. And then you gotta go back through the airport tunnel, basically around the whole fucking airport. Just keep getting lost. Okay, Dirty Urn has left. He's uh, all over the place as usual. So the shipping department has moved back to my house and we were having to organize a lot of stuff. All these, been all these little fucking issues moving. I think pretty much everybody's got gotten their stuff, thank the Lord, but uh, yeah, it's just been pretty chaotic. I'm trying to make sure everything's good. But some people are gonna get a sad email today because I think there is an inventory issue. Sorry, we're taking care of you. So I need to paint this. I've actually finally pulled out the paint. So that's a good start. That's a, yeah, we're chilling, man. I mean, Omar's like, already had a morning and a half. Oh, you already had a morning and a half. I'm supposed to paint right now. I've been doing a lot of other shit. I think I'm gonna go Twitch for a minute. Like an hour or two, Twitch. Hour to paint. We're home today, buddy. We ain't going nowhere. Went on a bike ride this morning, didn't take y'all. I did go, as I've gone every day, because I'm a bike rider. We're thinking about buying an indoor bike. Don't know if we're gonna, we'll see. Someone sent this. I don't, I feel like I know someone told me they were sending me something, but I don't even know what this is. I mean, I could look it up, but I haven't. Is it like an air conditioner for your body? I don't know. And the instructions are all in like Japanese. Where'd you get one of those shirts? Little pocket air kit? I don't even know. Oh, I have tattoos to draw because I got tattoos coming up. I got stuff I got to schedule, which reminds me, I need the email. And then, someone said in the comments they wish I'd have more weed content. I understand. I understand that that could be cool. I don't necessarily think it's that cool, but also, weed content on YouTube doesn't fly. For those of you that don't know, I don't really even get paid to do YouTube because of weed and cussing, you know, real life things. I want it to be a weirdo and fuck my cat or, you know, make sexual gestures towards children on the vlogs, that would be fine. But smoke weed, um, so I get demonetized because of it. But also, last year they went around deleting channels because of weed content. So that's why I don't show it that often, really. Is it's one, repetitive, it's the same thing almost every time, and two, it's YouTube is just a hoe. And all these big corporations are hoes, dog. Everybody's a hoe. Not everybody, but a lot of people are hoes. Some hoe activity going on. Let me take this dab, talk about it. Fuck. Twitter this morning. It is just, everybody's just down with fake shoes now, I guess. I get it, the shoe game got boring. Boring as fuck. And you just get bombarded with everything all the fucking time. The internet, bro, is trying to socialize. I'm trying to just like chop it up. You're getting hit with a fucking flyer or something every two second flyer, a titty, a fucking booty, buy this, do this, get this. Bam. It's just, it's overwhelming and the shit is boring. The product is boring. In the realm of trying to socialize, you still see other people doing shit. I got people who I used to talk to doing sports cards. That's fine. Do you whatever. You're making money. I don't care. And the SB wave is ridiculous. Your motherfuckers just woke up and you just said, we're into SBs, you know? Ky Kylie Jenner put us on. Ky Kylie said, let's wear it. Let's wear these. We're Kylie Jenner's little bitch. Some people just like SBs for some reason. You didn't like them for the last five years and that's fine. All of a sudden the goofiest SB editions ever come out and all the shit they couldn't sell at sneaker con three years ago you know that's all just that's the wave now they should make a troll doll nike fucking troll doll sb i swear to god oh, that's what i would do nike nike let's do an sb with the troll hair coming out of the tongue nike sb troll but anyway not even my point <sighs> my point as we go upstairs play ghost of tsushima warren lottis i haven't said anything about it it's not really 
any hate towards him is definitely a critique towards his output. I don't usually pay attention to other artists, you know? Like, I don't, something that I do until it becomes in your face. And my main thing is with seeing these Warren Lottis fucking SBs or whatever, they're just fakes or knockoffs or whatever you want to call it of a shoe that already exists. So I just think that that is weak as fuck. And I guess I can't even blame him. I mean, the Jason mask is also like really silly. Jason's a fucking pussy, dog. Jason? Really? That's your dude? Jason? Like, fuck Jason. Jason is a mom's boy. You know what I mean? Jason's mom's scarier than Jason. It's about the taste levels of what I see around me. Like, I, it's, it feels like the bar is literally on the fucking floor as far as, like, what people will accept. And maybe that's just, like, the fucking art loser in me that wants to be more impressed by things that I see around me. And, I, you know, and I'm never happy with my own shit. I, that's what keeps me going and keeps me making stuff. So I guess what bothers me is when I see people fucking be lazy, you know, and what is and, and you have an audience, like you're blessed enough to get an audience and then you're gonna be lazy and you're just gonna copy the same fucking colorways that were popular before and it's because all of a sudden the SB wave is popular so we're just gonna like dig into that and someone's gonna be like, well you went by Boost God. I was called Boost God and Boost wasn't a thing from before it's not so you're telling me that if I went and I just like made my own Ultra Boost like I just made my own Ultra Boost, and, like I even had the, the the opportunity to buy a bunch of Pharrell bottoms and then make my own uppers and put them out myself and didn't do it because that felt like it would have been not authentic. Like So yeah, I don't know. I was also conflicted at the time. Putting out a shoe didn't have boost in it, which now I'm not as conflicted with because I don't wear boost that as much. Honestly, I don't wear shoes that much. I'm at home so much that I barely wear shoes. I wear my cycling shoes more than any shoe that I've worn in a long time. In February of this year, we slipped into an alternate dimension. Many things are different here, you know, many things. One of the things that has changed here is that uh, fake shoes Fake shoes are acceptable. Um, also, none of this shit matters. It's just, it's just an observation, you know. I think some people get like really confused and think that because you get passionate about the things that surround you. Just me critiquing, just like art, just like critiquing another artist, critiquing the world around me. And the world around me consists of sneaker culture, you know, like it surrounds me. I do the same thing with tattoo culture. The culture of things, I think, is like what destroys everything. It's not enough to get upset about. Like I'm still gonna enjoy playing this game and having a great day. But I guess you just wish people would think for themselves. The evidence that you see of people lost in this trap of chasing an identity by being the same as everybody else. When you witness that as an older as an as an older person, you ain't gotta do all that shit, dog. You ain't got a lot to kick it. I don't want to be antisocial. I like being social. I think I'm funny. Uh, it's Tuesday. It's uh, 11.41, August 4th. 2020. What happened yesterday? Painted. I've been and I've been painting all morning. I've been doing real good. I put well, I did play Ghost of Tsushima for a little bit, but I also painted for like four hours. This morning I've been painting for like I don't know, like two, three hours. The bike ride went down at 4:30 this morning. Fucking terrible, honestly. I think I was just really tired. I slept like shit last night. It was a full moon as well, so maybe maybe Mercury's in Gatorade. This is where we're at. All we're doing right now, between this and video games, right right now. The dogs have some bones. Alex went to go get weed. This is what I got. It's either this, be creative, or talk shit. And I'm really trying not to talk so much shit. It is uh, 4.30, you know what time it is. Time to hit off this bike ride. I've been cooking a lot. Last night I was just over it. I didn't want to cook. We got burritos from this place. It was actually pretty fucking good. Big burrito last night. Still in my belly, so I'm gonna go ride my bike. We don't go far, but we wake up and go. And that's what counts to me. 4.44, let's Jay-Z the fuck out of here.
painting all morning. Came home from the bike ride. Went to sleep. That's my my MO lately is get up at four on the bike by like 4.45. Back home before 5.30 usually, 5.45 at the latest. Try to get back to sleep by seven, then sleep till like 8.30. It's been great. It keeps me from going to sleep at like eight o'clock at night. Usually I can like make it to like nine, 10, even 11. I haven't eaten anything yet today because some burrito, that's still full. It's like a Texas size burrito. Shit was ridiculous and I had to eat it all. Uh, I've been painting all morning, working on this Kong. Working on collab. Hanya has to do Friday, so I've been kind of doodling for that. I don't know where my fucking drawings are. Um, uh, it's really like a lot of art, dog. We're like art machining right now. Gotten samples for not face masks, neck gaiters. I don't like face masks. Obviously, look, look, I can't go, look, we can't go anywhere, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, my vlogs went from being in Japan and all over the place to just here. You know, this is what it is. So obviously, face masks are just gonna be a part of it, whether you like it or not. I don't love it. I don't wanna like pander to the audience of face mask-isms. And, and, this material that I'm uh, gonna use is a lot more breathable than like my Adidas one. These are like super breathable. People will get in political debate about what it's doing. I do have them coming. It's it's happening. It's all happening. A lot of things in the works just can't go anywhere. I got enough points to fly to Japan like six times right now. Can't go. Can't go anywhere. People have been talking about in and out on Twitter all morning. So now I'm like craving in and out. Uh, whew. I've been very harsh with my critiques in the output of let's just say like hype culture. And I feel like I just need to ignore it more. It's it's imploding on itself. I think complaining about it is misguided. Like the best thing that can happen is to watch it burn. Nike SB is the perfect example. All the shit that's going on. Dog, Nike SB has been back popular for like six months and people are already cool with rock and fake shoes. More people like are justifying. We're not, I don't want to talk about, I don't care what you think about it. I don't, I don't care. I don't care what's on your feet. I walk, I'm barefoot. It's gonna implode. We're gonna witness the herd eat it to the bone. Down to the bone, and then they're gonna move to the next thing, and you know? The commentary is funny, I enjoy it, but some days uh, I need to work more and not uh, pay attention to what other people, I guess, call work. The static, bro. Sometimes you just gotta remove the static. And it's hard. Social media these days, a lot of static. Back to painting. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima. All right, I actually did not go play Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. These are really good. I ate some of these. The Savage Dragon, some of you may know. I don't know if this happened on the vlog or not. I can't remember. I think this is before the vlog, actually, but I bought, at one point, in Teddy fashion. I did talk in the third person, but it's okay. Uh, I went and tried to get every issue of Savage Dragon. Like, every issue. Which I think this is just, well, I know. This is issues one through, uh, oh, 39. They're on issue number 250 now. But this is what's fucked up. I thought that I could come on this website. I was like, oh, these shits are like 99 cents a piece. Like, I'll just buy the rest of them. Blah, blah, blah. I put a bunch in my cart. Being a fool. Look at this. Hurry up, cart. Look at this. Look at this. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. When I sit, proceed to check out. This is the trap door. Digital content acknowledgement. These shits aren't even real. You gotta pay a dollar for each one to read on a tablet. I don't want that shit. And then I tried to search for comics that I'm missing. Oh my God. What the fuck? So, I may end up finish reading this. I, see, I want, this is the comic I read as a kid. Car vacations, like whenever I had money, I got to read a, an issue. I wanted to read all of it. I'd like to have the fucking comics, but it sounds like my ass is gonna have to fucking just read a digital, which is a bummer. Everything's bought up. Everything's worth money to people. I didn't know. Silly me. I don't know how much more we got done since the last update. Oh, we're getting shit done. In and out. Let us wrap though, so we can have some fries. Good morning. Here we are again. Yeah. Time to go. You just, whoa. 5 a.m. We finished Ghost of Tsushima last night. Amazing game. Amazing game. Maybe the best video game I've ever played. I haven't finished a lot of games though. I quit early because they're not fun. So. Great game. Bye, bro. Be back. You pouting? Oh my. You pouting? You pouting. You mad? You mad because I didn't let you go on a hike? Creating and making. We got the painting in the works. I believe I'm going to take a break from it today. Over the last three or four days, I've spent a lot of hours on it. So, I would like a break. So, I'm going to take one. Elements of tomorrow's sleeve. Hanya, Lotus, 
Sakura. Speaking of Sakura. Sakura. Japan. We can't go, as you know. But also, another arcade is closing. The Sega in Akihabara, which I'm saying wrong, but it's just the way I say it. Akihabara. Aki. Habara. It's closing. The Sega the Mega is closing. Arcades in general are probably going to close in Japan. A lot of stuff is going to close in Japan. I think. You know, I don't know. I'm not an expert. So, that's a bummer. Every day I sit here, I'm a little bummed out that I can't go to Japan again. I have so many airline points, it's ridiculous. But, it's okay. We're working. We're getting shit done. We can't really go do much. There's nothing to go do. I like going out to do shit. There's not much to do. I mean, it's just eating out. And right now, I'm not even really eating out that much. We'll see. I don't know. A lot of drawing. A lot of this. A lot of that. It's like the idle hands thing. If I don't draw and do shit, I'll just be on Twitter fucking going off about everything around me. And these days, th these times, it's real easy to go off about all the shit around you. It sure as fuck is not uh, getting me anywhere. Letting me vent, which, yeah, it's healthy sometimes, but let's be real. Like, take your pick, you know? If you want to find something to be upset about, there's no shortage. I'm going to uh, get out of here. I'm going to edit this vlog. It's Thursday, so tomorrow I'll be tattooing all day long. Saturday, I don't know what I'll be doing. And Sunday, we will podcast at most likely 11 a.m. It's our new church time. Sunday at 11 podcast. The church. The church of I don't know what. The church. Church of fucking see you later. Peace.